命の危険は感じるけど守らなあかんもんは守らなあかんからね自分らが思ってる分信じて進んでる道を進むためには危険はか仕方がないとは思う。So why did you sign up to that? Violence has always been part of my life. My name is Mahmoud Fazal and I'm a former high-ranking member of the Mongols, one of Australia's most notorious outlaw biker clubs. I've lost friends to gang violence and family to war. I want to understand what draws some people to violence and what it takes from them in the process. The Yakuza has dominated Japan's criminal underworld for over a century through a quiet code of brutality, extortion rackets, and gambling dens. But in the last 10 years, highly restrictive anti Yakuza legislation has made life as a member of the Yakuza dysfunctional with modern day Japan. Some say these laws have changed the Yakuza and corrupted the code that held them together. Their numbers have plummeted, leaving thousands of former members in limbo, exiled from the underworld and outcast by society. I wanted to find out what it's like to go back to a normal life. After leaving a crime family, and why current members of the Yakuza refuse to let go. Jake Adelstein is an American reporter who worked on the police beat in Tokyo for over a decade. Jake spent his career halfway between reporting and living the life of a delinquent, immersed in the world of the Yakuza. Jake had some contacts he wanted to introduce us to. He agreed to meet me in his old stomping ground, Kabukicho, Tokyo's red light district, a place that was once synonymous with the Yakuza. Oh man, that used to be a great like nurse themed sex club. Sad. It used to be what? A great nurse themed sex club. Nurse themed sex club. Well, you know, it's like, you know, it was a sexual massage, but it was a nurse theme. You like your dress ups? I didn't say I like dress up. Who are the Yakuza? The Yakuza are 22 different designated organized crime groups that make their money in Japan from gambling, extortion, drug dealing, prostitution, child pornography, blackmail, fraud, increasingly, and any other crime that you can think of. They used to have limits on what they would do and wouldn't do, they don't have any of those limits now. Why do you think the Yakuza are in decline? Well, they're in decline because the laws have gotten better. They criminalized paying off the Yakuza. The Yakuza now can't collect money from people. They can't get a phone. They can't get a hotel room.、Uh, they can't get an apartment. And they can have people substitute for them, but when they get caught, they go to jail. And that, more than anything, has made living life as a Yakuza so unpleasant that people are leaving in droves. Do they still find honor in violence? Yeah, of course, violence is everything. Violence is how they punctuate their sentences. Every single thing is a fucking fight. Every conversation is the beginning of an argument. And their weapons of instruction include their fists, Japanese swords, wooden swords, baseball bats,、um, bicycles. In Kabukicho, one of the classic ways when the Yakuza got in a fight is they'd pick up a bicycle and they'd smash it on someone.、Like, You've seen it in the video game? Yes, they do that in real life. What do you make of those that claim the Yakuza are a necessary evil? I would say that there's a time that they were a necessary evil. The kind of crime that people hate theft, robbery, street crimes, people breaking into your house the Yakuza were good at suppressing that. 
and for many years. But you know, the number of police have increased. Japan has a very low crime rate. There is no need for the Yakuza anymore. They are an unnecessary evil. For someone whose life and career was so entwined with the Yakuza, Jake seems surprisingly comfortable speaking out against them. And he's not alone. Takegaki is his Take, last name. Takegaki, yeah. but you have to say it first, right? Yeah, you could, you could just call him uh, Sensei. Jake offered to take me to meet Satoru Takegaki, a former Don with the largest and most powerful Yakuza family in Japan, the Yamaguchi Gumi. To meet Takegaki, we had to travel far from Tokyo, deep into Japan's Kansai region, an area where the Yamaguchi Gumi still maintain a powerful presence. やはり苦痛よ。so what are the practical steps to rehabilitating when you leave the Yakuza? やはりね、私とこ相談に来るということは真剣に考えた人は分かるよ。だから私はこれからはヤクザの時代違うから英語でやと言うて警察と連携を取ってで、組を出るようにしたり、ほなその半文上さえあれば日本の国は5年たたん
and accolades from the mayor. But I wondered how someone from the lower rungs of the organisation would cope. The guys on the streets, the quiet ones who get their hands dirty and are often left with nothing. Fukuoka is an idyllic seaside urban centre, once crowned Japan's most livable city. It's a place of wide boulevards, orderly buildings and spotless streets. It's also home to the most violent factions of the Yakuza in all of Japan. It was here that I was introduced to a man we will call Koyama, who is still figuring out how to live his life as a civilian. Koyama works as a nurse, trying to make amends with his past. When you're a member of a criminal organization, you find that violence solves a lot of problems. Did you find shaking that off difficult to do when you entered ordinary life? ま、Has anyone ever seen your tattoos in your workplace? No, I don't know. Well, I don't think it's better to be able to live in a normal way. Can you tell me the story of the first time you saw the Yakuza? I was in a hospital when I was in a hospital. この why are we getting in so many fights? うーん。なんだろう。もやもやしてた。ずっとイライラしてた。小さい時から。理由はわからない。とにかくイライラしてた。考えるより先に手が出てしまう。Do you remember the first time the family asked you to commit violence? Oboitimasu. 要するにお祭りみたいなことをするので、出資を募った。でもそれは行われなかった。2週間ぐらいずっとそのお坊さんの家を見張って交代で。で、お坊さんが来た時にスライドドアを開けて車の中へ。And
嫌ではなかったです。最初、不良、暴走族だった時は、自分のために、自分の無釈者する気持ちを解消するために、もちろん暴力を振るったし、暴,暴れたし。でも、ヤクザ、えー、看板を、大門を背負ってからは、絶対に負けられない。自分の首の看板を汚すことになるから。And what happens if you disgrace the badge of your organization? You've got all of yours though. 私は行儀が良かったので全部揃ってます。What does this mean、uh, when someone becomes your older brother? ファミリー。家族になるということです。本当の家族よりも固い家族になるということです。兄貴、私がついていた兄貴は、本当に、えー、先ほども言いましたけど、弱気を助け、強気をくじ,、うん、くじく、きちんとした人共同の方でした。が、えー、兄貴がいつしか思いよりお金の方が強くなった。How did that make you feel seeing your older brother essentially become corrupted? になりますよね。The look in Koyama's eyes was commanding. It was the same worn out look of betrayal I'd seen on the streets before. Having met ex Yakuza, Who'd become disillusioned with their codes of honor, I wanted to find out why anyone would still cling to the fantasy of a virtuous criminal syndicate. We were heading to Osaka, Tokyo's gruff south side cousin, a city long associated with organized crime. It was the first time I'd seen Jake anxious. Noboru Hirosue is a sociology professor who researches why people join the Yakuza. He'd arranged to put us in touch with an active syndicate in Osaka. They'd never spoken on the record before. The Yakuza in these areas are extremely violent and unpredictable. We were quickly told that they would only agree to the interview if we promised not to wear the documentary in Japan. The Yakuza also demanded we obscure the identity of their boss, the don of this Osaka syndicate, who had been released from prison only a few weeks before the interview. I was expecting to be taken to a neon lit bar in the red light district. Instead, we drove for almost an hour deep into the suburbs. Yakuza, do you know? 一般の人が会社に就職するのとは違う人が人に惚れて部下になるだから人間の腹いわゆる器が大きい親分のとこには人が集まってくるんですねそうですねあのヤクザはあの犠牲的な血縁関係ですからそれはよく見てきましたビューティフルストーリーがそこにあるんです彼らの中に Do you remember the first time you witnessed serious violence and did you find it shocking? Or? <笑><笑>
。ノーコメント。ノーコメント。OK。OK。In your time in the Yakuza, what has been the defining memory or your most memorable moment? ハイジョードの出会い。ハイジョードの出会い。親を選んで生まれてこられへんやんか。でもわしらは親を選んで子供になれるから。いいことも悪いことも苦しいことも楽しいことも、いろんなこと過ごしたから、この人間の生き方。
、まあ、子供、孫にもし何かがあった場合には、ヤクザには戻らなくても、それなりの行動には出ると思います。もう私は頭に血が昇ると、自分が抑えが効かない。今も確定できているかどうか自信はないですね。The yakuza in the most volatile areas of Japan express a deep sense of family and unity. I thought about the deep bonds between the Oyabun father figures with their Kobun children. This lifelong commitment to each other that felt like it was at odds with the fast paced, internet fueled society of contemporary Japan. What I felt in my conversations with Don Takagaki, Koyama, and the active Yakuza in Osaka. Was a bond over a common human need. Some people call it ideology, some people call it family. At the end of the day, whatever it is, it gives the lives of lost people a sense of meaning. On the outskirts of society, while many will continue to leave the Yakuza, that need to belong. Will always remain. どっかにあったの。なんでかな。あ、これ、これは私の親分。Do you think he would be proud of you?、うん、そら賛成するよ。私は世のため人のために昔のヤクザがやってきたことを今私がやってるよ。